Yo guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Crazy Cores, and today I'm doing an update video on how to make a 5M server because the last video I did is quite out of date now. Um, so yes, I'm gonna get right into that now. But before we get started, remember to hit that big blue subscribe button or turn it blue, whatever color it is. I don't know. Um, just just to let me know that you enjoyed the video or don't press it yet, press it later. <laughs> but also uh, hit that big red subscribe button if you're new around here to stay. Um, just you know just. Just to subscribe and be one of my subscribers. No, I don't know where I'm going with this, but anyway. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and do that. Hit the big red subscribe button, uh, as well as the post notifications to stay notified whenever I upload a video. So, head right over to Google, search 5M, click the website, download server, boom, it'll take you here. So first off, we're going to create a little server here. So let's right click. I'm going to do mine in local disk. Um, it probably be more. I think it would be better if you just follow exactly what I do. So if you want to put yours in local disk as well, um, just in case there's any issues, it shouldn't have any issues if you follow exactly what I've done. So let's go ahead and do this now. Let's name it FX Server. Uh, actually, Server FX. Name it that. Boom. That's the name. Right. Open up that server, and as you can see folder is empty so let's go ahead and start with the download here so right to follow this so make sure you've installed the newer for the the newer visual c plus plus 2017 you can download it here create a new folder for example fx server exactly download the data master which you can download here so if you want to head over to this little link click on server window um, and master Scroll right down to the very bottom and download the latest and then download the server. Boom. I can close that. Just wait for this to download. Voila. This is now downloaded. Um, it should show up like this. A little folder like this. If you want to go ahead and open up this and whoop. Drag and drop. It's easy as that. By the way guys, uh, if you do get your server all up and running, I will do another video on how to um, put resources in your in your game so you can have like mods, etc. Um, like that. So yes, I'll get right into that after this video. Um, it should be up straight away because I did promise that for the other video but I didn't. So it'll probably be up tomorrow at around 2pm as well as this video. Or it could be up later tonight, you never know. This video should hopefully be up at 2pm, it might be up later because it's quite late. I can't edit the video that fast. Anyway, let's continue. So now I've got this, um, you want to go ahead and follow the rest. So, clone this here. When I click that, it brings the list here, thing here. Click to clone and download, download a zip. Okay, voila, that should now up open like this. And you want to now drag and drop this. Boom. Now I usually change the name of mine to the server dash data. Boom. Just like that. Let's follow the rest here. Make a server.cfg in your server data. So that's what you're meant to name it, server data, I'm gonna guess. And uh, you need to copy the example CFG from below. Right, okay, we'll get right into that. So first off we're gonna go in here make a new file, server, and then change the dot text to dot cfg, boom, yes. Now, we'll get to that in a second. So let's go ahead, actually no, I think we can just copy this, ah yeah, here it is. Let's just open up this link, and then copy all of this. Now go back to here, go into your server data, right click, Server CFG, open with Notepad. If you don't have Notepad++, you can just open with and then find uh, just normal Notepad. But I've got Notepad++ because it's easier. So let's go ahead. Oh, don't do that. What am I doing? Hello. Hi, guys. Um, I did that completely wrong. Let me just close a few of these tabs. Boom. I've got so much stuff open in this. There we go. So now we just have a clean one of just 
server safety. There we go. Now just go ahead and paste that in here. All I did was control V. You can always just do control or right click and paste, but I did control V. So yes, let's get right through these. Um, this year you don't really need to change as it does say here. Don't really need to change that. Um, so let's go ahead. Recon password, I never really changed, you don't really need to do that. Um, this is going to be your server name here, so you can change that to whatever. Mine's going to be Crazy Cores Test Server. Um, you've got this here. I don't think that does anything either, I don't really need that. Loading a server icon, that's basically if you want to have like a server icon beside your game name. You really just need to make a, an icon here. Um, name it whatever logo or something and then delete the hashtag and say you've named it logo.png you just need to change that to logo.png and that'll be it there put the hashtag in front of it if you don't want there to be an icon and the icon must be this size here 96 times 96 and a png file it has to be a png file don't really need to worry about this and 19 keep this with the hashtag in front of it and this means it will announce on the server list. If that hashtag is not there, it will not announce on the server list. So you want to keep that there if you want it to announce. Um, so yes, that's that. Don't think we need to worry about this. Um, you can edit your slots and stuff. Now, down here, you can see this. You definitely need to worry about this. So you want to go ahead and open up this link. Voila. It'll say sign in. Go ahead and click that. Boom. Now I've got two here. Don't need to worry about that, that's for like other stuff that I've been working with. Um, but let's go ahead and register a new one, click register. And I'll ask for your label, mine's going to be Crazy Cores Test Server. And you want your IP address, so if you want to get your IP address, type in IP in Google and it'll show your IP. If your IP does not show up, uh, you can always type in IP Koi and then click on the first link, that will always show your IP. So yes, um, that's basically that, and all you need to do is copy your IP, paste it in, oh, didn't copy mine. So copy your IP and paste it in there, and then change yours to home hosted or whatever yours is. I'm going to put mine home hosted. Um, do the caption, generate, voila, you should now have a key. This should be your key here. Copy that, go into here, and this where it says change me, put your key there. And well, that that's it done. You need to save that. Now that's not you finished to run the server yet. Got a few more things to do, so let's go ahead and do that. So, next, run the server from the server data folder. Right. So, I'll explain that now. So you want to go here. Want to copy this here, paste a new one, change it to server run. So now you've got a server run. Right click that. Add a notepad, you can just delete that, you don't need that now. And you want to now put your new code in. So the code you're going to want to put in is this here. Just follow exactly what I'm doing. So and this is what the directory is going to be. So clearly ours is not that. So this is what ours is. So I'm going to just copy that and paste it here. And make sure server data is there as well because that's where it's linking to, server data. Change that to whatever you've named yours, you might not have named it server data, just change that to it. And now, after you've done that below it, you want to put this here, this here code. So, whip that there down there. Copy the same code from here. And put that there. And change the D to a C, like that. And yep, that's basically it done. So now you need to do, for some reason, you need to copy this server run and paste it into here. Now, so you should have two, one in here and one in your server data. And now just go ahead and open up one of them and voila, your server should start running. It will check, you have a license, yes, I have a license, blah, blah, blah. And now if you go ahead and open up your 5M, so let's go ahead and open mine up, just double click this, boom, this will load. Server's still up, it started everything perfectly, there's no errors, all good, all good. Now the server list is a bit broken, um, 
because I've tried multiple times to make servers and for some reason they never show up on the server list. Um, I've never been able to solve this problem. Let's see if mine shows up. Yeah, mine does not show up, as you can see. But we've also got this little fancy direct connect. If you type in, if you go here and type in your, right, if you go to direct connect and then type in localhost, it should show up your server right there. The icon I don't have, so that's why it shows up like this. Um, now, if you want other people to connect to your server, you need to give them your IP, and you would just put your IP in here, and they would just put their IP there, and your server should show up. Um, it might not show up for you because you're the local host. You'll need to connect via the local host. It might show up, it might not. Most of the time it doesn't, um, but if you're the local host, just connect via the local host, and that's you done. Boom. So that's how you create a server. Um, pretty simple, just go ahead and click connect and boom, it'll start connecting. Couldn't, okay, if this shows up then couldn't load resource um, session manager. Go back here, type in restart session manager and then that should restart it. Now if you try connect again, it should let you in this time. Boom, easy. So that's how that works. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. I'm going to close mine now because um, I haven't got anything in it. Boom. Close. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this one. If you did, go ahead and leave a big fat thumbs up down below uh, as well as subscribe if you're new around here. The next video will probably be how to, reinst or how to install uh, resources such as mods, car mods, loading screen and so on. So yes, hope you did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.